While overseas vacations might be out of the picture for many people right now, two local small business owners are promising a more European experience for those who visit their bar in Pendleton. As reporter Brian Maines explains, Bar Say So took its inspiration from a few quaint alleyways here in the Queen City that reminded its owners of Europe. Michael Guilfoyle said he and his business partner, Christy Wolfson, fell in love with a small cluster of buildings on Sycamore Street in Pendleton the first time they saw them. Cincinnati is just full of beautiful architecture, like turn of the century, late 1800s buildings. Um, and I think that's kind of where it started. Guilfoyle, a Cincinnati native, and Wolfson were living in California in 2018 when they decided to buy a building tucked away on Greer Alley between 12th and 13th Streets in Pendleton. In 2019, they opened The Carriage House, an Airbnb at the location. The Carriage House was so popular with guests and small groups before the COVID-19 pandemic, it inspired the pair to open Bar Say So at nearby 1208 Sycamore Street last October. Like, hey, I think we need to expand on our amenities um, in a hospitality way. Wolfson said Bar Say So is a place not only for guests of the Carriage House to visit, but also anyone looking for an intimate drinking experience. At the end of the day, there's nothing precious or fancy going on here. The concept behind our cocktail program and our beverage program in general was always to be really simple but high quality. We strongly encourage people to just order what they want. You know, if you want an old fashioned, order an old fashioned. Guilfoyle said they were lucky when Bar Seso's location went on the market last year, stating the cobblestone Greer alleyway that separates Bar Seso and the carriage house adds to the European feel they hope guests experience. We also own the alley uh, down the street. We plan to activate um, the alleyways, which was the initial kind of uh, inspiration and the thing that caught our attention to begin with. Gilful and Wolfson both said they found positive experiences despite opening the bar in such uncertain times. Seeing the silver lining and everything that's happening, we started at, you know, in October, COVID had been happening. We we're prepared to open under the circumstances that were given to us. For more information about Bar Say So, visit WCPO.com. I'm Brian Maines for WCPO 9 News.